what is up YouTube so I'm bringing y'all another video today man we uh I took a couple of days off after the lifts and link series and I really decided what I wanted to do so today I'm going to be bringing y'all through my top five exercises that I that I would do for the rest of my life if I only had five so if you've seen in my previous series I would do maybe up to 20 even 30 different exercises so I really do like a wide variety of exercises so yeah I'm going to be taking y'all through the uh, top five exercises five being I guess the one that I would least likely do to number one being the only exercise that I would do. Which keep in mind though, these are all really great exercises and I recommend that you would all put these into your routine. So I will see y'all with the first exercise. So the number fifth exercise that I would do in my top five exercises would be the barbell row. I'm gonna demonstrate y'all the, the movement and I'm gonna show y'all, uh, I'm gonna show and tell y'all all the muscles that's being hit. So the barbell row is mainly going to hit your back and your biceps, mainly the upper back, but will also hit the lats too. And uh, a lot of underrated muscle groups that actually get hit in this movement is the hamstrings, the glutes, and the lower back, and the calves to a certain extent. So, But yeah, whenever you do the barbell row, you're going to be strong, pick it up, get close to your body, step out, wide stance, flex your core, bend over, keep a straight back, and then row straight to your to your waist. It's okay if you throw a little, a little bit of momentum like, throw it up a little bit but at first to start this exercise i would recommend just doing like very slow so come down we get a good stretch on the hamstrings and then pull up here to your waist so my number four in the number four spot the next exercise is going to be dips man so the dips is mainly going to hit your chest shoulders and triceps but mainly it's, it's not really going to hit your upper chest too good but it's going to hit your mid to lower chest it's going to hit your tricep mainly all your tricep it's going to hit your front delt. So I'm going to demonstrate y'all the dip. And also, if you flex your core, it makes it a whole lot easier whenever you do dip. So in my opinion, I wanna, I'm want to i going to want to press up, cross my legs, slow down, up, one, two, get a deep stretch on the chest. So in the number three spot, I'm going to have pull-ups. So pull-ups, if you know by my, if you watch my Lips with Link series, Pull-ups are my go-to exercise for back. I always start a back day with a vertical pull. The main reason I've never told y'all is because it actually stretches your lower back doing a vertical pull. Even doing like right here, a pull down. Like if you're sitting here, it's going to stretch your lower back up. Just so whenever like you do either like the cable rows or the bent over rows next, it's going to actually like help your lower back. It's going to be stretched out. It's going to be ready to go. So yeah, the pull-ups mainly going to hit your, your back and your biceps and your forearms. And, um, but it's mainly going to hit your lats, kind of like the barbell rows, mainly hit like your upper back. So this, mainly, this is going to mainly hit the lats. So I'm going to demonstrate y'all pull up. So lock, hook grip always, in my opinion. Uh, turn your elbows into your torso to get your lats activated. Stretch at the bottom, deep stretch all the way down. Explode. So we are down to the final two exercises. So I'm gonna have one upper body exercise and then one lower body exercise. So yeah, if I had to do two exercises for the rest of my life, it would definitely be the bench press and I'm not gonna tell y'all the last exercise. Y'all just gonna have to find out for yourself. So we have tips for bench press. You wanna grab the bar, even grip. I like to go thumb width off of the ridges and then uh, upper back up or chest up, shoulders back, but just don't create a too large of an arch where your lower back is sore. So. You want to turn your elbows in, and then wrist straight, go up, and then, like I said, elbows in, upper back, arch a little bit, slow control, pause, up, up. The number one exercise, man, on my list for my top five exercises is definitely got to be the barbell back squat. There's nothing harder, and there's nothing better than doing squats and if you don't pick any of these exercises in your routine i would at least recommend having a some type of like squat variation or some type of variation of each like for example if you have shoulder pain with doing a, a flat barbell press you could do a flat dumbbell press or flat machine press and if you have like lower back problems with doing like bent over rows or maybe squats you could substitute the bent over rows for maybe like a cable row or you could substitute the squats for maybe like a leg press or a hack squat yeah with squats this is this is the king of all exercises it hits every single muscle in your lower body hits your lower back abs it's really everything and also like even like your shoulders and traps are like i can't explain it man it's just like crazy just how good the barbell back squat is so but yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna demonstrate this for y'all so 
I always like to get into like a squat position before I go up. Go up, uh, dig it into your traps, push up. One, two, three. I would always recommend three steps out and then flex your core. And then it depends if you want to do a, heart, a high bar like I do or a low bar. It's just all personal preference. So be able to squat, slow on the way down, explode to the top. So that is my top five exercises, man. Number five would be the barbell row. Number four would be the dip. Number three would be the pull up. Number two would be the bench press. Number five would be the squat. And I guarantee y'all, if y'all don't really like to work out or y'all can't find time to work out, if you can just find like maybe two days out of the week just to get to the gym and work out, maybe one day you hit barbell rows and squats together because that's really going to work like your lower back and like a lot of your leg muscles. And then maybe if you could do dips, bench press, and pull-ups another day, that'd be good, man. Like I said, if y'all just focus on those five exercises, I guarantee guarantee y'all, if y'all progressively overload, add weight, add rep, sorry, add weight or reps over time, I guarantee y'all, y'all will see some gains, man. I appreciate y'all for watching, and I will see y'all in the next one. Peace out, and God bless.